It was one of those nights that made a lot more sense at the beginning than it did at the end, when it looked more like Woodstock and less like Kent State. It started out as a night for sky trains, a night for public transportation, a night for green men and blue men and everybody else. It was a night not meant for traffic, a night for hot dogs, and a night where being there meant you might just be a part of something special. I'm pretty confident, but uh, a little nervous. Don't want to be overly confident. Boston is going to lose 3-2 OT. That's my prediction. It was supposed to be a night for friendly aggression, where only stuffed toys would be harmed. It was supposed to be a night for Roger Nielsen and for the coach's historic legacy. It was supposed to be a night where 40 years could be overturned, where this city might just finally get what it's always wanted. It was supposed to be a night when a new chapter would be written, when the ghosts of 1994 would be outdone by the team of 2011, a night for Vancouver. Instead, it was a night for the Bruins and the city of Boston and their own city's sports legacy, when all you could do as a Canucks fan was hang your towel over your head and wait for tomorrow. It was a night for Tim Thomas, the deserving Conn Smythe winner, and a night when you hoped those wearing the wrong jerseys would make it home alive, especially on a night like last night, where our lesser instincts got the better of us, when we needed protection not from the Bruins, but from ourselves. But don't dwell on how it ended, because there were many things we should remember from this year. This is our team. These are our Canucks, and we should be proud of what we've accomplished this year. And if you don't believe me, then listen to this. Canucks go! Go Canucks go!